Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about a little bit the sounding of the shofar being blown during the month of Elul. The month of Elul is not a festival, neither does it contain any specific festival, yet it's a very special month. Beginning on the second day of Rosh Chodesh Elul until Rosh Hashanah Eve, the Baal Tokea, the shofar blower, after Shachri Davening, sounds five notes. Tekia, Shvarim, Trua, Tekia, and then finally the Tekia Gedola. It's not a Torah requirement, but a custom. But the Rambam explains that the shofar is an alarm clock to awake and examine ourselves. It is as if we are in a spiritual sleep, unaware of the consequences of our actions. The shofar comes to wake us up, to heed its words, the time to acknowledge God and our relationship with Him. This is the time we need to consider our actions and improve them where necessary. We must wake up and return to our Maker. The sounding during Elo is the first alarm that a major wake up is coming very soon. We need to start our self-examination during Elo to be prepared for Rosh Hashanah. This is the only time God turns to us, wanting to have a conversation with us and turn back to Him. This is the optimum time for repentance and return. This is why we sound the shofar to awaken us to repent. So it is with our people. Each person has their own task that they can perform effectively. Together, the individual tasks form the collective, which is the nation. We must come to God as individuals, but also as part of the people. We need to fuse as individuals, but also as a community and as a nation. We sound the shofar during Elo not only to wake us up, but to bind the Jewish people together. The Midrash says that when Moshe Rabbeinu, our teacher, wanted to gather people, he blew the shofar. This was to bind the people together and unite them in their divine service. God is elevated not only by the sounds of the shofar, but the coming together of his people. This is the message of Elul and the shofar. When we listen to the blasts, we are called to unite in divine service. This is the ultimate preparation for Rosh Hashanah.